Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Daily message in here for each and every one for April 6th. Let's see, loves, how the energies are and how they are blessing you. I have today the Angels and Ancestors Oracle cards for messages at the end. And of course, the deck of the Rider White Tarot. That's it, loves. Whatever in the world you are, in tuning with these energies, bringing in the energies and see the energies, how they are. Let's see. We have a devil energy right here. Empress and Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Yes, there is a there's an energy here quite strong that tells you whatever you are looking for, it's looking for you. I don't know where it comes that from, but whatever comes, you know, I will say it. Either it might be a good energy or not. But indeed here, that energy is whatever you seek, it's seeking you. Keep do what you do. I will clarify even that devil energy. I see a lot of earth energy. I might speak here with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Libra. But indeed here, that's a lot. Eight of Pentacles. Strength. It's, it's kind of an energy here for some of you. As you know, these energies are not for each and everyone. For some of you, this is the, the relationship you have with work. Three of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Cups, Lovers, Five of Cups, Tower, and Eight of Swords. You see here, and quite when we go in like this, eight, eight, eight. And when we go in three of cups or with five of cups, it's another eight, the eight of cups. So indeed here, loves, this is um, a relationship for some of you with your work, with someone, or even with yourself. It's kind of the universe offers you gotta choose. You gotta see it because many of you, whatever the universe offers you, you're not quite there. Or you don't see yourself good enough where you are or how you are. So sometimes taking the time to look in a mirror and see yourself how you are or who you truly are, you will see more than just a person. It's kind of somebody here does whatever they does, but they don't see they don't see how how they can be happy about. You know, many times we do work and there are a lot of things which comes up and we need to celebrate. For example, you have um, a promotional work, but you don't feel like you deserve it, or you don't feel like you work enough for that promotion, or neither to celebrate that. It's underestimating 
energy here. Because for some of you, that's what I'm saying. Look in the mirror and see yourself. Let's do some clarifications and we'll speak up a little more. The Eight of Cups, Sun. The Tower, Chariot. Three of Cups, Page of Swords. Five of Cups, Four of Swords, and Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands. It's kind of somebody here. Could be. I'm speaking here with someone who always learn or always overthink the things. Always do more or always thinks there is more out there to look up to for whatever reason here whoever I'm speaking you my darling yes we do learn constantly but we do need also appreciate the moments we are in Live and love your life and whatever the universe gives you. Because indeed here I see a lot of things you need to be happy and to enjoy them. Even the sun came here. Yes, the sun card is a Leo card. We do have the strength card as well. We have the chariot and the tower. The tower moment is now. The sun is during the daytime. The chariot, summertime. For some of you, could be this energy coming in within one day tower instantly or during the summertime it's more likely whoever I'm speaking Yes, you might be a single parent, you might see a single person, you might have a childhood which were very lacking financial in your energy. You might have been growing in a poor family, it doesn't really necessarily poor, speaking of financially, not the energy, because Poor has many meanings. Because I see here, whoever I'm speaking, you are full with qualities. You are rich in qualities. But I feel here also, there's something here, past relating, that you need to heal and let it go. Take your time and let it go. The Devil Energy Clarifier, the Hierophant, Taurus Energy here. For others of you, you had a, a marriage and now you are a single person. But there is so many things you are there to enjoy and you don't really feel like so. Don't let your past 
to haunt you. Because who I'm speaking, you are quite strong. You overcome a lot. You've been through a lot. Whatever it is, whoever you've been with, that was a karmic energy that you gone through, you got through. That energy is in the past. Let it go. Whatever here you let go, past related, karmically speaking, you got it. You are stronger now. You have a new energy to go towards. And there is a lot of movement, my darling. Full moon in Virgo, full moon in Leo. Leo, Virgo and Scorpio will be quite strong. Sun in Virgo, Sun in Cancerian. That's very strong energies. So indeed he loves. Go ahead. Page of Swords, Three of Cups, Ace of Swords. You are quite clear where you are. Why are you still looking for other things? You know, it's not like you, you don't. You know, clear, there is something else out there. way better eight of swords seven of wands emperor stand up for yourself you can you can do it beautifully you can do it and one more card Seven of Pentacles. You don't need to wait for the things to pass or for the things to get better. Things are getting better as you are keep moving. So here we are, loves. For some of you, there is a work energy here you are surrounded with. But I feel here, whatever you do now, it's something here you are experienced in the past. Work-wise, like if you work quite a lot constantly, or you feel the need, I need to work because I need to stay stable financially, that's something here which you were lacking in the past or even in the childhood, whatever family you've been growing up. For others of you, there is a marriage you've been through or a commitment, not necessarily a marriage. I do see here a marriage, but for some of you, it could be a commitment you've been through. And that was your karmic. You are single now. And know you are abundant. Whatever here you've gone through was not easy. But now you have the beauty to start anew, to move forward. For some of you, if you left in a hurry the house, be careful how you are driving. Because I see here for some of you, might be an accident here. So, whatever you do, don't do it 
on purpose or even on hurry. Protect yourself. Take care of you. And you don't need to wait for whatever it's there. It's like I will wait to the things or I will take my time. You don't need to. You don't need to. Choosing you is the most important thing you might ever could do. But again, healing the past is a must. As I used to say before, falling down, it's not your fault. Staying down, it's on you. But the sun tells you very strongly, it's a new day, a new life given to you. And it's your choice how you will go after it. As well, speaking of the AIDS, AIDS very much speaks about double stability. Eight also speaks about work, finances. The only eight is missing here is eight of wands. So everything here for you to work for yourself or in your situation, there needs movement. And the movement is coming. Communication is coming. Always, always. Don't just look or try to feel that, no, 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 this is not going to work for me or I will just keep my silence. Never, ever keep your silence. Speak up. Speak your thoughts. That's why your tongue is probably the strongest muscle in your body and that's why without tongue you can talk and that's why tongue doesn't have bones that's how my grandma used to say well speak up child your tongue doesn't have bones and yes you can speak up page of swords pages yes they are messages I need to learn more and things, but as you learn, speak up. Say it out loud. It's for your own good and your happiness. I will look really quick. Where is your Eight of Wands in the deck? And see the energies around this. Don't hesitate because somebody here doesn't feel great where they are, but they still at the same time to be hesitant in their move. So here he is. Eight of Wands. In the front, it's Seven of Swords, which is another seven. We have Seven of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups is missing, which Seven of Cups speaks about confusion. A lot of confusion being created in this energy. And Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords in the back, which I'm glad it's in the back, not in the front. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles is that queen that needs to take care of her more than others. As well, Queen of Pentacles is, yes, feminine energy, is someone who does work, but also who does need to be more in the groove. So here you are, loves. Wheel of Fortune. Whoever I'm speaking, you needed to go through this to most likely recognize yourself for who you are and yes i may speak here with the sun in an earth energy sun in taurus sun in virgo sun in capricorn or moon in gemini 
or someone who has Gemini because I feel here you know Mercury rules Gemini's as well Virgos so especially for this two zodiac signs you have the ability to communicate quite clear do not hesitate it's for your own happiness it's for your own good it's like somebody here needed to speak their emotions speaks what their heart was telling them because cups are all about emotions but they never did they knew that needs to speak but they were always like, oh, if I will say this, what they will say to me. Four of Swords doesn't speak. Neither Five of Cups. And there is no communication whatsoever. But I feel here there is a break free here. For some of you, you have someone who does know or does feel you and they might tell you why you're not speaking why you're not saying anything I see that you have something to say but you never do it's kind of like somebody here felt like they took your power and all these messages are for those of you who left somebody behind or um, a situation which were karmically strong karmic energy here very strong for those of you work wise to get to your goal to get up there you don't need to keep your silence just doing hard work and just following the orders doesn't mean that you do great because you are more than just a small energy there you are way more and you are way ahead of others because I feel here there's a, with that seven of swords others might take advantage of you and steal your talent Steal your work. And they do celebrate because you put there. So recognize your job, recognize your work, recognize your talent. And always know that you are more than you feel you are it's kind of somebody here is just kind of like i i never been recognized for what i do so that's why for some of you 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 gotta do your own art whatever you are you're an artist or whatever you do crafty whatever work you do trying to do something here on your own you are way way better than you think you might not feel that you are okay with that, but yes, you are. I remember when I was the eighth grade was um, was in my village uh, competition about drawing people around us or with something here about people around us family wise and at the same time my grandfather my mom's dad died and he died very quickly because they found he had cancer in the the last stage and he he died we found out in in may and in november he died and when I needed to to compete for this competition with that drawing, because I love drawing, 
now I'm not drawing as much as I used to but at that time I loved it and I I got in competition and I got the first place for the villages around because was participating kind of a few of them and I got the diploma and I got an encyclopedia with planets which that at that time for my country was something wow to achieve to get I couldn't go and pick up my present because my grandfather was dying and we needed to go to his wake and so on but I I remember that was a weekend and then we went to school back on Monday and I got my present and I came back home and I was so excited to show my parents my mom always said well it's good congrats easy not much but my dad I remember at that time he told me an artist will never make any money here I don't need this present this present doesn't put you any money in your pockets and for me at that point was so very very low feeling your own father doesn't you know being supportive for you but I knew I can do better and even now besides what I do here with the tarot I do designing on the side many of you know many of you you don't this is one of the part that I'm not doing as many reading as I used to because the other part with the designing picked up quite strongly and I gotta keep up and I don't want to leave my passion here for something else and always always try to do quality because that's how I am and only now later in years my dad sees because I never give up on my passion every single passion I had I kept it developed it more or less and what I want to say that now my dad always supports congrats bravo and things like that so what I'm seeing here for some of you you are doing now this and it's similar through what I've been years back and the thing is as I always say never ever give up on you we are born alone we are dying in this world alone and in between what we do is up to us is up to who you are picking up in your boat to drive with so always always be you never give up on you because the way you see your world nobody sees your world and some realize sooner or later who truly you are but only you are there whoever said said the right one face you show to the world another one you show to your family and only one face you show to yourself three type of face you have always always be you loves no matter what yes and I truly believe in that because I see so many of you seeking that place in the world why I'm here why I'm going here you are here to follow your energy the universe is guiding you no matter what yes there's a lot of challenges yes there's a lot of things are there but always always honor you 
as Louise Hay, many of you know her, many of you don't, she always say, love yourself first. Like you are getting in love with someone and you are very excited to see the person and to see that feeling. That's how you need to love yourself. Always, every single day, because you are up and down. That's how everything in this earthly life is, up and down. Only you know how to regulate that. So keep doing you, keep loving you, and see yourself how awesome you are. Blessings, loves. But before we go, I will do an advice. Advice for you. Advice for whoever watches and connects with this energy. Also, here we are, loves. Look at here. We have all the eights here. The strength is the number eight. Eight of ones, as I said, is missing. The sun is number eight which is the, uh, the, the August, Eight of Cups, August. And then we have the Sevens. So no, loves, whatever it's here. Don't live in the past. Take the new chance to live again. Because I feel here the universe offers the new energy and it's on the way to you or it's coming look very quick do you need this are you ready for it did you ask for it or not because that is about to change your life because death is transformation big changes and they are quite quick with the Knight of Swords. These changes which are coming are very, very quick. And it speaks again, air energy. For some of you, you have heavy air. Don't be upset for what is gone. Be thankful. Because it's more grateful you are, more greatness it's coming to you. Okay? And the oracles... What the oracle speaks to you. Winter, as I say, take care of your needs. Look at here. Couldn't be better said. Take care of you. Underneath we have guardian angel. You are not alone. You are always protected. You always have protection. Take charge with authority. And Hunter, track down your fears and desires. And Air Guardian, again, Air Energy, shift your perception. Your energy is about to change. And of course, if you are allowing it. So indeed here loves, it's time to change probably the way you think or the way you see the things, the way you are talking about yourself, the way you bring the things in the life, it's time to change. Because look at here, the next card, we have the trader, exchange energy to create abundance. So the energy changer is in your benefit and not anyone's. Love and light to all of you loves. I hope this communicates and connects with you in a way or another. If it does, let me know. And we'll see you next time. Namaste.